Today's lesson is from Chris over on our course community about a Micrologics fault he's getting, which by the way, if you're not a member of that community, you should be. Chris says, odd question. You can see in the photo that I have shown the program files. The top photo is from the program I initially tried to download. When I did this, I kept getting error 28. The bottom photo shows the same program with the added program files. These have no logic, just empty rungs. This program worked and downloaded with no errors. This is an older program from a previous controls engineer. I am using RS Logix 500 and Micrologix 1400. My question is, what would cause the fault and how did adding the program files fix the error? Would this be caused by deleting the program files? Chris, I've replicated your exact error here. We have a fault, so we're gonna go to error. And we see invalid or non-existent fault routine value. Either the fault routine specified by S29 does not exist or the fault routine was less than 3 or greater than 255. And so here is that fault routine number. Now let's just go ahead and do this from scratch so we can see how you end up in this situation. So I'm going to go and clear that fault. And then we're going to go ahead and create a new file. And we're going to select a Micrologix 1400. I think this one's a Series A. It'll tell me if I'm wrong. And then we're going to go to the status S2 data table and go to the errors. And if you look in your program right here, I am betting that you have a 3 because that is listed as user fault for description. And so if I just put a 3 here and then we download that program, then right now we're in remote program because I cleared the fault and I put it into remote program. And when I try to go to run, it's going to fault. And that's where we get the error code 28. So this has to see this ladder three routine. And since you don't have it over in your list, that is going to fault this PLC immediately. So we're going to go, we're going to clear fault. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go offline. Then we're going to simply right click program files, new, and I'm not even going to put a name or anything in. Just click OK and download that program. And now when I go to run mode, it will be just fine. Now you're right, ladder three is completely empty, but because you had it specified in the fault routine here as ladder three, it has to exist. If you haven't checked out our online lessons and community, then here's a link to it. And also, here's a playlist with some other helpful videos.